Thank you for checking out this video. So today we're going to be going over what the best workout routine is. So here's an answer right up front on ClickBay. It's going to be different for everyone. What works for me might not work for you. What works for Ronnie Coleman might not work for Steve Cook. What works for Mike Thurston might not work for Matt Does Fitness. I'm just naming off some popular fitness vloggers here. So anyways, what I would say is the best workout routine, what has worked the best for me in my experience, is a modified push-pull-leg split. So currently I'm doing a push-pull-leg, where the first one each week is heavier, where I go between five to eight reps. So push days consist of chest and triceps, pull days consist of back and biceps, leg days, so obviously that's going to be legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, and uh, sometimes I'll toss some core in there with my leg days. Um, so that consists of the first three days, push, pull, leg. Now, me, I like to throw my rest day after the leg day, so I'll go push, pull, leg, rest, and then I'll do a modify again. So push and pull day, so after the rest day, I will do a chest and back day superset. So for example, I'll toss some flat bench, immediately do some pull-ups or lap pull-downs, and so on and so forth. Um, four different exercises for each muscle group, each one supersetted, just back to back. You will walk out with such a sick pump. For that one, I go hypertrophy, aiming for eight to 15 reps, depending on what weight scheme I'm using. Uh, more often than not, I'll go up to 12 reps. So the next day would be arms, after that chest and back day. So I saw shoulders in there, so I will go shoulders, biceps, triceps. How I do that is, I'll give shoulders their own movement. So I'll do some dumbbell push press, or some Arnold's, or even some overhead press with the barbell. I will rest, once I get done with the four to five sets of the shoulder exercise, I'll jump into supersetting biceps and triceps, just like with the chest and back, we're gonna superset it, so just back to back, no rest in between. Keeping the reps higher to really get a pump. Again, you're gonna get such a sick pump, you're just gonna feel like insane, like just insane. Your arms will be throbbing, your biceps about to pop out, triceps bulging out, your shoulders, oh man. Shoulders are my favorite body parts because they make or break your aesthetic. They will look so good. Anyways, for the last day, legs. So if you watch any of my other videos, I've got bad knees. So <laughs> everybody says that, right? So for the leg day, I'll do like a body weight leg day. Or if I'm really feeling good, I'll do some Romanian deadlifts. Really focusing on the pull on the hamstrings. But that's what it is for me. So what works best for me in short, is a modified push-pull leg, superset chest and back, superset arms, leg day. Now, do I think that'll work best for beginners? Yeah, I do. You know, a lot of people, um, they try and tell beginners to do a full body workout three times a week. That's great, that gives you a good understanding. You'll do your bench, squats, and beds, which is gonna be pretty much your push-pull and leg day. But I don't think that's enough volume You'll get a good foundation doing compound lifts, bench squat and dead. But I think to really get into it and just find your groove, you gotta go more than three days a week. So what a lot of people do, aside from that, is the bro split. Where for example, you'll do one day is chest and triceps, one day is back and biceps, one day is legs, one day is shoulder, rest, rest, restart. So that's good too. But in my opinion, you want to hit each muscle group at least two times a week, which is why I feel like the push-pull leg works best for me. Um, another popular one is an upper-lower split. So it's exactly what it sounds like. You'll do your entire upper body, your arms, shoulders, chest, back one day. Next day, you'll do legs. And then here's where you can mix it up to figure your own needs. You can take one rest day or you can do two rest days and then repeat. So that's pretty good too because you're hitting each body part two times a week. But again, it's great. But in my opinion, push pull leg, push pull leg, or push pull leg modified like I do, is what's going to work best because you're introducing your body to 
strength training with a lower rep range. And then after you've had some good rest, you're introducing your body to the hypertrophy range, which is where you're going to really build the muscle. Now as a beginner, you're going to build muscle no matter what. Pick up a weight, do something with it, do anything with it, you're going to put on some muscle. But once those newbie gains expire after about six months of lifting and you start to plateau, that's when you're going to have to switch it up. So don't be afraid to explore your options. You know, there's no right or wrong. Like I said in the beginning of the video, what works for me might not work for you. What works for Steve Cook won't work for Matt Does Fitness, so on and so forth. Like it, everybody's different, right? And if you're natty like me, you really got to switch it up and find your groove for what works best for you. Because once those newbie games expire, once you've been lifting for a couple of years, you'll really see the muscle growth start to slow down. Your strength will continue to rise, but your muscle growth will slow down. It's inevitable. You can eat the surplus, you can do your dreamer bulks, you'll end up putting on more fat and muscle. This is just a fact. Unless you hop on the tea juice, it's just a fact. You don't need to. I think that building a solid foundation naturally is the way to go. I have no disrespect for anyone that chooses to juice though. You do you, I do me, that's all I care about. I'm kind of getting off topic here because this is about the best workout split. So again, in short, different for everyone. What I have seen through experience works best for me is a push-pull leg modified, but for a long time before I modified it to fit my needs, I was just doing push-pull leg and it worked great. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, leave me in comments. I do my best to respond to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. As a beginning YouTuber, I really appreciate it. And if you can think of ways I can make videos better, like, you know, not recording on a tripod on my cell phone, let me know. I appreciate all the feedback. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Good weekend.